Vaquita. Efforts to save the whales have focused on our troubled relationship with the largest animals on Earth. But one of the most endangered cetaceans, the vaquita, Spanish for little cow, is smaller than a human. Weighing only 30 to 55 kilograms, the minute vaquita is a dwarf species of porpoise that usually measures a mere 1.2 to 1.5 meters in length. With a rounded head, small fins, and a sleek body, this tiny Mexican cetacean is also extremely rare. Having an extraordinarily restricted range for a porpoise, vaquitas are found only in the innermost reaches of the Gulf of California where the Baja Peninsula extends from the North American mainland. These sheltered waters allowed the delicate animal to evolve. But fishing nets, human disturbance, and inbreeding have turned the tiny habitat into an ecological trap, leaving the declining vaquitas in dire need of help. Falconets. Birds of prey are the wolves and lions of the avian world, usually dominant apex predators instead of potential prey. Enter the falconets of China, Southeast Asia, and the Malayan archipelago. Often measuring a mere 14 centimeters, with 27 centimeter wingspans, the smallest of the five true falconet species and are the world's smallest birds of prey. These raptor runts are smaller than many sparrows and inhabit forests, wetlands, and field edges. Falconets boast a sharpened bill with a tooth-like notch and disproportionately large talon-studded feet to grasp and pierce their prey. Some falconets hunt dragonflies and take wasps from their nests. They may also capture small amphibians, lizards, and even small birds nearly their own size. Paddle-spined sea star. The paddle-spined sea star, the smallest sea star in the world, only grows to about the size of a fingernail. First discovered in 2007, this animal is yellow to orange in color and lives with other small sea creatures in shallow pools along the coast of southern Australia. Like other sea stars, the paddle-spined sea star does not have bones and is classified in the large group of echinoderms. In fact, a starfish, the old name for a sea star, is actually not a fish at all. It is more closely related to sea urchins. Although this creature can have the traditional five arms seen in other types of sea stars, the paddle-spined sea star typically has six arms, which is unusual in a sea star this small. As the name suggests, the arms are lined with paddle-like spines. Minute salamanders. The aptly named minute salamanders of the genus Thoria stretch the lower limits of amphibian size. The genus itself comprises a number of species inhabiting moist habitats from North America to Brazil. Unlike the meter-exceeding Chinese giant salamander, Minute salamanders can easily be measured in millimeters as well as centimeters. The smallest known species, Thorius arboreus, does not exceed 2 centimeters in length, a little under 1 inch. Not surprisingly, Thorius arboreus is also the world's smallest known salamander, sporting an unusually thin body and a compressed head shape in addition to its infinitesimal adult length. A Mexican species, this endangered animal is native to moist, upland forests along the Atlantic drainage in the Sierra de Juarez region. Minute salamander species are still being discovered today. Pygmy hog. Wild hogs generally rank among the larger and more powerful animals in nature. The endangered pygmy hog of South Asia is an adorably minuscule exception to the rule. Measuring only 25 centimeters in height, these soft brown mini pigs live in grassy woodland and weigh only 9 kilograms at the most. Unique among porcines, pygmy hogs make bird-like grass nests to rest each night. Originally native to a broad range of India and Nepal, Habitat loss has driven the pygmy hog into a handful of isolated patches. Only a few hundred are believed to remain. Indian-born British naturalist Gerald Durrell has been instrumental in championing the protection of the pygmy hogs. He said of the creatures, I had never actually met a pygmy hog, but I have a deep, warm regard for all members of the pig family. So, simply it was a pig and a pygmy pig at that. I felt it must be charming. Fairy Penguin The classic image of penguins calls to mind the giant denizens of the frozen Antarctic where some species can measure over one meter in height. However, the warm beaches and temperate waters of Australia and southern New Zealand are also home to a penguin, and this penguin is tiny. In fact, the fairy penguin stands only 13 inches tall, which makes it scarcely bigger than most quail and approximately the same size as a small crow. Watching the 1.5 kilogram flightless seabird march down the beach is enough to captivate even the most seasoned bird watcher. The bird's plumage glistens in shiny blue shades, earning this minute mariner the alternative name Little Blue Penguin. Recently, dents have been made in the 500,000 strong penguin population from such unlikely sources as lizard attacks and traffic collisions. In a bizarre twist, sheepdogs have been employed to help protect threatened nesting sites. Dwarf Lantern Shark The smallest shark in the world, the dwarf lantern shark, only grows to about 20 centimeters. Not much is known about this shark as it was just discovered in 1964 and is rarely seen. However, it is known that the dwarf lantern shark only lives in the Caribbean Sea near the South American coastline 
These sharks are dark brown and can also have black markings along their bodies as well as thin scales called dermal denticles. Despite its small size, the dwarf lantern shark is a carnivore, mainly feeding on krill and other small crustaceans. Like other lantern sharks, the dwarf lantern shark is bioluminescent, meaning it possesses an organ that creates light organically. The exact lifespan of this shark is unknown. However, it is thought to be relatively short due to the large number of predators and parasites that are known to attack the shark. Star Sucker Pygmy Octopus Many videos of this tiny octopus are becoming popular, not only to show its small size, but also its curious behavior. The Star Sucker Pygmy Octopus only weighs about 28 grams and measures about 13 centimeters in length overall. These small creatures are commonly found in the warm and clean water of the Cayman Islands. However, they are great at hiding and blending into different objects. To compensate for its size, this carnivorous pygmy octopus possesses venom that is injected into prey before it is eaten. Although these creatures enjoy chowing down on crustaceans, individual octopuses have been observed to be picky eaters. These animals are also very playful and are known to be smart, making them amusing to observe from a distance. Pedocyparis progenetica Aedocyparis progenetica, the world's smallest fish, is a mere 7.9 millimeters long. It was discovered in 2006 by researchers Maurice Cotilla and Tan Heok Hui within the swamps of the Indonesian island of Sumatra. There, the water was dark and acidic, with a pH measuring almost 100 times more acidic than rainwater. It was originally thought that these waters were largely uninhabitable. However, researchers are discovering an increasing number of species that can survive within these extreme conditions. Pedocypris progenetica has a mostly transparent body with a head that is not protected by a skeleton. Despite their small size, the male fish have pelvic fins that are capable of grasping, which probably helps during mating. The lifespan of these tiny fish is unknown. However, researchers are studying these creatures in detail to learn more about them. Mexican Dwarf Crayfish While the endangered Tasmanian giant crayfish can grow up to one meter, there is an opposite extreme in the world of freshwater crustaceans. The Mexican dwarf crayfish grows to only 3.8 centimeters. From a distance, it mostly resembles a shrimp, but get closer and you will be able to make out the tiny razor-sharp claws characteristic of the crayfish. The cute crustacean is both a hunter and a scavenger and may come in brownish dark stripes or beautifully mutated red. The dwarf crayfish is native to lakes with moderately warm water, where it inhabits muddy bottom zones with some vegetation. In America, you can actually own it as a desk pet, provided a filtered 2-3 gallon mini aquarium with temperate water and alkalinity is provided. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.